Okay then, I want to speak about some things that I don't know too much about. It's just what I think and what I feel. I'm going to go and research later. I want to speak about the movie Black Panther. I've seen it once. I, I, didn't, I don't get the hype. I'm here right now and I don't understand Chadwick Boseman. Is that his name? Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. That's his name, right? I don't get the hype behind this guy either. Uh, to me, it's a sad story. He was an actor. He acted in films. And then this actor died. Which is sad. But why then did black people go out and act like this guy was the actual Black Panther? I don't understand this. Why is everyone like hyping it up so much the film right let's first off let's talk about chadwick boseman so i can get that out of the way because i don't want to speak ill of anybody especially if they're not alive no more yes he had colon cancer so we are told and he worked through this which is takes a lot of resilience and strength to i'm guessing i'm guessing it does to work through this and not even tell people which is honourable, I understand that. But to turn around after that and hype it up so much, like he was the actual Black Panther, like he actually did so much for black people, i never even heard of this guy before. But I don't watch a lot of movies. But I now know that he did star in a lot of other movies playing black people, black men. Obviously, because he's a black man, that just goes without saying. But off that, and onto the Black Panther. Black people hyped up the Black Panther so much just because it says black in it. And it's in Africa. Now, I don't understand the hype behind all of this. I completely disagree with the film Black Panther because it's Marvel, which is white. You run out there. And you pay all this money and you hype up this movie, the biggest gross selling Marvel movie ever. So I heard. And where does all that money go? Just because they put some black people on the cast, just because they got a black guy, I don't know if they did or not, but I guarantee that the guy that directed it was black. Just because the white people behind that want to portray it out to you black people to make you think like it's all black but the money goes straight to white. Stop being stupid, black people. It's so frustrating how stupid some... Ah, oh, think about it. You're putting all your energy into this thing. The Black Panther. Everybody's banging on about it. And who benefits? Who benefits from it? White people, because they are behind it. They own, they own it all. The people, the company that made the film, I guarantee they're white owned. The company like Marvel, I guarantee they're white owned too. And what have we got? Black Panther, a cat, a pussy cat, a pussy cat. The black people's superhero is a pussy cat. It scratches people, right? <laughs> Do you think the Black Panther can fight Spider-Man? I doubt it. Do you know why I doubt it? Because I put it into YouTube. Because I'm not one of these Marvel people that knows all about these characters. I thought it was going to be, yeah, it'll be able to beat Spider-Man, but it might not be able to beat Superman or something. But from what I've read on the internet and the videos I've watched, it's really interesting that Black Panther probably couldn't even beat Spider-Man because of the spider sensors. It can predict what's going to happen. It's super strong. It's super fast. Yes, the Black Panther has this armoured suit, but that's the suit, not the man inside. Even though the man inside, his skill has got, he's got like all the martial arts. He's, he can call on all the knowledge from the past Black Panthers. See, I've done a little bit, little bit of research, but still, when it boils down to it, the Black Panther couldn't even beat Spider Man. So I'm pretty sure that he can't beat Superman. But I don't know. I've not looked that one up. So I'll just stick with Spider Man. But the biggest one of all, the biggest disappointing thing about this movie. Black Panther. Now, if anybody out there, any youngsters out there, Google Black Panther, they're gonna get a movie. They're gonna get a fictional 
why owned movie and they're not going to get the original black panthers the activists the important ones they're going to get a movie so these white people that have made this movie because it was a white idea i'm pretty sure of it and if it's not a white idea white people are the one that made it happen okay they've put this out there black panther this destroys the image of the black Panther. they don't destroy the image but people aren't going to find it youngsters people that don't really know white people black panther what's that searching it they're going to get a movie and they're not going to find any information on the true black panthers we have to remember this whole thing is white it's a movie on the big cinema screen chadwick boseman everyone's talking about how he's a king and he's there for black people but when he got his cancer what did he do he went and got white treatments for it i've read that he had chemotherapy which is a white treatment it kills every single cell i don't i don't want to say anything that's wrong if anybody out there has had family members that have, or friends that have died from these things i don't want to say anything that's distasteful but this is just what i think if somebody's going to be pro-black why are they going to run to the white man who paid chadwick who paid him where did that money come from that paid his first career i guarantee it was white money and when he got ill where did he go he didn't go to get no black treatment he got chemotherapy how can people still be having chemo again right i don't want to speak out of turn because obviously i don't know about all this stuff this is just what i think if somebody has chemotherapy in 2022 why is that still a thing because as far as i'm aware chemotherapy kills all cells it kills everything good and bad why can't they pinpoint it yet why are people still going for this treatment i don't know what i would do to be honest with you again i'm speaking but i'm just speaking i don't have the true knowledge and information about this subject it's just what i think and feel right now i don't think i'd want to go for that why are you not going why did dr sebi why did he not go for dr sebi that kind of treatment if maybe he did maybe he went for that treatment alongside the normal treatment that you get in hospitals maybe he did i don't know the information but what when you google it you hear oh yeah he was filming when he was going through chemotherapy which means to me chemotherapy is a white treatment to me that's what it sounds like and why if it was so pro-black why is he going to white if it was so pro-black why is he working for white if it was so pro-black why is his boss white and then black people are jumping on this even though the film black panther is diminishing the history of the actual black panthers everyone putting this guy on a pedestal to me he was an actor it's sad that he died i'm not trying to take anything away from that it's a shame really because i can't speak how i want to truly speak because he's not alive anymore i really can't say what i want to say because you can't not that i want to diss him i just want to be honest and it's sad when someone dies it's like you can't you can't really be honest anymore but i don't it's not even him i don't know anything about him it's just the people why why is everybody like let's talk about the youtubers we've got um what's his name wolfpack right we've got wolfpack making again on that on that why are you some of you guys waiting for me to say something i've been told about this post where it's put lewis hamilton's name on a gun and i know some of you that are out there are thinking oh wait till ff1 sees that wonder what ff1's gonna say i know for a fact you are but when i check the comments no one's saying jack why are you waiting for me i'm not saying nothing you think i want to get shot by a lewis hamilton gun no thanks i'm not speaking about wolfpack no more because i ain't got a gun <laughs> and i ain't getting shot over my youtube channel right <laughs> But that is highly distasteful i must say it's highly distasteful but that's only speaking from where i am in england where no one's got guns okay i ain't got a gun and i'm not if i was going to say something then but even being in england even saying you know somebody that's got a gun will incriminate you the police will be around your house if i said i know someone that's got a gun that is enough for the police to come and blast down my door you said you know someone that's got a gun 
right? I don't know anyone that's got a gun. I've got to say that now. So the police don't come and bat my door down. But just in England, if I say I know somebody with a gun, that gives them grounds to come and blast my door down and arrest me. <laughs> that's how serious it is having a gun in England. But in America, guns are everywhere. So maybe it's just a, a cultural thing. Me seeing Lewis Hamilton's name on a gun was like, what? What's Hamilton got to do with a gun? Weird. Weird. I didn't get it. Didn't get it. And say, let's go on to F Wonderful as well. F Wonderful about his logo. It's Black Panther and Chad Chadwick Bron. I stop saying his name. Chadwick, right? It's his. Um, F Wonderful's talking about him. I don't get why. He was an actor that worked for white people. The white people told him what characters to play. They told him which character. They told him he was going to be the Black Panther. He didn't decide, I'm going to be a Black Panther and I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the king of Wakanda, whatever it's called. No, he was told and he was, he was probably asked by white people. And then black people jump on the bandwagon and go and destroy their own history by going and funding a movie taking away the history of the actual Black Panthers. Black people should have been protesting against this film. Don't take away Black Panther. Don't take away the actual meaning of the Black Panthers. Don't take that away. But no, black people run out there and jump on this white hype and damage their own. Because just think about it as well. You watch the Black Panther movie, what is it? Black people fighting black people. Black people fighting black people. That's what it is. And I know you can say that about um, other superhero movies. It's normally white people fighting white people because normally the, the good guy's white and the bad guy's white. And it's white people fighting white people. But as soon as they give you a black superhero, they make them fight black people because they're not going to have a black superhero stopping white people. They're not going to do that. No. You can be a superhero amongst your own. But you're not coming and being a superhero amongst white people. Again, I need to go and watch the film again because maybe I'm speaking out of turn there. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And last of all, let's end on this. Black people finally get a superhero. It's there. Black people are loving it. The King of Wakanda, the Black Panther. And then where's your superhero now? He's not alive no more. The superhero of the movie is now no longer alive. So what did they do? What did these white people do? They fed you something. They gave you a movie and made you think it was all black. But it wasn't because behind it is white. It's Marvel, it's white. And then they call it Black Panther. Everybody runs out there and they fund it. They post on social media. Now on the internet, Black Panther is a movie and not the actual Black Panthers, which are way more important to black people than the movie Black Panther. So they give you a Black Panther, you run out there and you ruin the um, the history of the actual Black Panthers, you make it harder to find. The Black Panther and the superhero they gave you is no longer alive, so they killed your superhero. They gave you a superhero, they hyped you up, and then they, what? Well, can't say they killed him, because who knows what happened, but he's no longer alive. They might have known, the people behind the scenes might have known before they hired him that he was, he was, he was probably going to die soon. Stage three colon cancer. Ain't that serious? So they might have known. These people behind the scenes might have known and they got him to pay this film because they knew he was going to die and they wanted black people to be hyped up and see their king of Wakanda, Rwanda, whatever, whatever it is, right? They want to put that person up there, make him your black superhero just for him to go and die and demoralize you. Even your superhero isn't alive anymore. <laughs> so anyway, let's end there. I don't understand the hype behind this because these are actors and these are movies and it's all coming from a white place. Don't fall for it. And black people shouldn't have take, let a movie take over the actual Black Panthers because that's what it's done. Right, I'm up to 15 minutes now. So, hope you're all having a nice day. Hopefully I didn't get too much wrong. And I'm out of here.